A major difference between EDC and paper studies is changes in the roles and responsibilities of the investigational site and sponsor. Using EDC, the site enters data directly into the database instead of onto paper forms. The sponsor's data management group no longer has the authorization to write data into the study database. The EDC system automatically generates queries on questionable or discrepant data when the site enters the data. The database administrator will set up user roles so that each site can only access data and reports for their specific site. There are two major efficiencies gained when using EDC. The first is that data is entered into a data collection tool only once, reducing the processing time for data entry and the opportunity for transcription errors. In the paper system, data is entered once by the site on the CRF and a second time by the data entry group into an electronic system. The second major efficiency is that data cleaning begins immediately and does not require the intensive, hands-on work of a data management group for processing. This is, of course, assuming that the appropriate logic checks have been built into the EDC system. Summarized here are six primary process activities and timelines for electronic data capture. Sponsor eCRF development and eCRF specification documents. EDC system build. User acceptance testing. Documenting decisions and changes. Post-production changes. And site timelines.